Coke Industries is one of the biggest companies in the United States. They have annual sales of like $100 billion. They have two guys that run it, David and Charles Koch, who are among the richest people in the world. They're worth individually $43 billion. And what makes the Koch brothers interesting is how they use this, their wealth. And they largely use their wealth for two different causes. One is to deny that climate change is a reality and is actually occurring. And the second way they use their wealth is to get conservatives elected to office who will then further their corporate interests. So the problem is that getting the mainstream media to report about these guys and what they're doing is difficult. And I, and I can speak uh, about that from personal experience. My name's Bruce Lipsy. I'm an investigative journalist and television producer. And a few months ago, I produced a short documentary about the Koch brothers and their vast holdings in Alberta's tar sands. And the tar sands are a big source of climate change controversy. And a couple days before the, the story was supposed to air, the, the, the top brass at Global pulled the story and then they fired me soon afterwards. So the reason people should care about these guys is that um, the Koch brothers and some of their billionaire pals have put aside $1 billion to get a Republican, their guy basically, elected to the White House in the next presidential election. And, and this is all in the hopes of you know, furthering their corporate ambitions, especially with Alberta's tar sands. So uh, I would like to produce a documentary to expose all this, and I'm, I'm looking for people's support, and um, here's some more information about the Koch brothers. Few people realize that the Koch brothers' plan to get someone elected president is linked to Canada and the vast wealth locked up in Alberta's controversial oil sands. The reason is because the brothers control as much as two million acres of the tar sands, worth tens of billions of dollars. In fact, the Koch's fortune was made refining Canadian oil. Recently, U.S. President Barack Obama vetoed the Keystone XL pipeline, which was designed to export Alberta's oil sands petroleum to the U.S. So it's no surprise why the Koch brothers want a pro-pipeline Republican elected president. After all, they want to access their wealth locked up in the oil sands. But climate scientists say up to 240 billion tons of carbon would be released into the atmosphere if the oil sands are developed. Meanwhile, it's been left to comedy shows like The Daily Show to expose the problems with the Cokes. So the good news is that the Real News Network, which is a Baltimore-based alternative TV network, wants to air this documentary about the Koch brothers. And so we have an outlet for it. We just need the financing and would uh, appreciate if you could send some money our way.